Hello, this video demonstrates the music application from the paper and uh, connected here on the table I have an STM32 discovery board connected to a speaker and it's also connected to the oscilloscope so we can read off the frequencies generated as we play the music. Uh, we are using the built-in uh, DAX of the STM32F4 microcontroller. These are uh, 12 bit DAX. So let's jump into the software and open the uh, source code. I'll move it to the side here, like so. Um, this program starts out by defining a data structure for representing lists, then um, head and tail defined on those lists, that is. Uh, give me the first element, head, or give me all the elements except for the head, the tail. Then uh, we have a not function defined on the int integers, which uh, given a one gives you a zero, and if you give it a zero, it gives you one. And then we have two functions for um, uh, time units, or specifying a value within in a specific time unit, then you would use msec or usec. Then we have a um, temporal operator after which is implemented using sync t and it represents uh, saying we should try to synchronize this event after some amount of time and we use that throughout throughout this program. Then a list of uh, nodes to play and the values in these lists e are the um, note frequency half period time so it's uh, we are going to generate square wave so that's going to be you know um, high for a certain amount of time and low for a certain amount of time and the amount of time it is high is the half period time and the amount of time it's low is also the half period time so this kind of means that if we're playing this note, which we should switch between high and low after this many microseconds. Then we have a DAC channel, which is used to communicate with the DAC, and a note channel for internal communication between two processes. The note duration is set to a constant 500 milliseconds, uh, so we play each note for the same amount of time. Um, which is not true to the original, of course, as uh, some notes are half notes and other notes are quarter notes, yeah. really, but uh, we play them all the same. Then let's jump down to Tune P, which is the uh, high frequency running process. It uh, takes care of writing, you know, high and low values to the DAC. And the DAC is 12 bits, so what we're writing to it is this um, volume times 4095, and we switch volume between 0 and 1 as often as the um, half period of the uh, note indicates. So to generate a 440 hertz signal, this thing needs to execute 880 times a second. Then um, this thing takes care of stepping through the, the list of nodes and uh, updating which node the tune process is playing. So it sends a message on the node channel and the uh, tune P receives a message on the node channel. I mean, it can Every, anytime this runs, it, it can either receive a note or send a value to the DAC. Okay, that's that for the source code. Now, there is one more file here that's a little bit interesting, and it's the configuration file. Um, these are different between uh, if, if you're using the Zephyr or the Uh, CBOS backend. 
and um, when we use Zephyr we, we make use of the device tree overlay files that they support and for uh, GBOS we use these kinds of files to uh, to tell the runtime system what the hardware looks like that we have access to so the runtime system will know about names like LED0, uh, LED1, DAC0, DAC1 and Button0 uh, while of course on the hardware side these are some GPIO pin on some GPIO ports and configured to some uh, platform specific mode Now let's uh, start it playing. Let's make and flash. And I will point the speaker, the microphone a little bit at the speaker. Now I can see uh, what notes it's playing on the oscilloscope. Like right now it's playing 440, 392, 340, 230, 261. Yeah, it's switching fast, but there are some recognizable notes there. And if we are to um, disconnect this, and uh, we take the probe. I accidentally resetted the device here by shortening out the board but it will uh, boot right up again hopefully there there we can see the square wave that is generated Okay, that was all I was going to show for this demonstration, so thank you.